We're at TGen in downtown Phoenix, the premier place for brain health research. And joining me now is Dr. Matt Huntelman, a professor in neurogenomics. Welcome, doctor. Hi. Hi. Tell us a little bit more about TGen. Well, TGen is a nonprofit research institute that sits right in the heart of Phoenix. And we try and better understand disease and ways to treat it using the human genome, our blueprint. Tell us more about the MindCrowd project. What is that? Our MindCrowd project is a web-based scientific study of the brain. Okay. It's a way for the average person to participate in scientific research from their home. Wow. And so we're trying to better understand how the brain works and hopefully leverage that information to better understand how to treat the brain and avoid brain diseases like Alzheimer's disease. How can they participate from home? Well, it's actually really simple because it's internet-based. Okay. So they can just log on to our website at mindcrowd.org, okay. and it takes about 10 minutes to complete our study from start to finish. Okay, perfect. Now, what is your end goal for the Mindcrowd project? Well, we're trying to do the largest study that's ever been done for the brain. And we are one of the biggest right now, but our ultimate goal is to reach one million people as part of this work. How many people thus far have participated in the Minecraft project? Right now we've had over 75,000 people wow. participate in our research. And it's from throughout the country and actually from throughout the world, over 150 different countries we've had participants take the test from. Doctor, tell us some of your findings on the Minecraft project. One thing we've noticed which is really interesting is that Women who are postmenopausal, around the age of 50 to 51, actually see an improvement in their performance on the test. And uh, we don't really understand that yet, but we're very interested in studying it further. Most women who come up to me after they hear me speak uh, say, that doesn't seem right, it seems like menopause uh, made my memory worse. Mm -hmm. But in fact, our study is showing the exact opposite. Now, doctor, you study the brain on many levels, so give us some tips and some of your best advice on how to keep our brains healthy. You know, that's a great question. People ask that all the time. I think there are a few things we know for sure that are helpful in science. Uh, first is socialization. So it's important to get out there in the world and enjoy your social circles. That's really important. Uh, but also, things you do to help your body are generally help helpful for your brain. So exercise, eating healthy, those things also have been shown to improve brain health. So what's good for your body is also good for your brain. Well, such purposeful work you all are doing here at TGen, and I absolutely love that the community can get involved and participate. Yes. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.